15 dogs with the strongest bite force. The contentious topic of dog bites is surrounded by a lot of myths and inaccurate facts. You may have heard that pit bulls have locking jaws or that chihuahuas are the breed most likely to bite, hard to say and absolutely not true. The bite's placement is important as well. A dog can't bite down as hard as they could if they were using their molars instead of just their front teeth. Additionally, bear in mind that a dog's bite sometimes results in more damage from the subsequent shake than the original chomp, so all of this may be for naught. As far as we can tell, with the data we currently have, breed may not be the most dependable criteria when predicting bite force, since there is absolutely no data on mutts. Instead, the dog's head size and shape are more effective for predicting how hard it will chomp. Regardless of breed, a large dog with a wide head will likely bite harder than a smaller dog with a more narrow skull. After all of that, let's take a look at the breeds that performed best on the majority of these bite force tests. But it's not difficult to guess which breeds will be at the top of the list given the earlier information. Number 15. Doberman Pinscher. 228 PSI. Doberman Pinschers were once regarded as the world's most terrifying, ferocious dogs. There's no doubting that these canines are capable of serious chomping action if properly motivated, but that reputation was mainly undeserved, and the mantle has been largely usurped by pit bulls, which is equally unfair. Number 14. Boxer. 230 PSI. Given their size and athleticism, boxers should do well on a test like this. They're not nearly as large or commanding as some of the breeds at the top of our list, though. Boxers are generally neither violent or dangerous, unlike many of the other breeds displayed here. You should still treat them with care, however, as they are capable of causing major harm if they feel like it, given the substantial amount of force that they can exert in a single bite. Number 13. Pit Bull. 235 PSI. Some people might be surprised by this ranking because pit bulls are typically regarded to have the strongest bite of any breed. They may put tremendous force behind each of their nibbles, but the truth is that they don't even make the top 10. It's crucial to keep in mind that many pit bulls are actually mixtures, and those mixes may contain breeds that can bite much more forcefully than pit bulls can. Because of this, you might never know how powerful a pit bull's bite can be unless you're dealing with one of the purebred varieties. Number 12. German Shepherd. 238 PSI. German Shepherds are large and athletic, just like Belgian Malinois and Dutch Shepherds, and they are highly desired by military and police enforcement agencies all over the world. These dogs are well liked as household pets despite the fact that they can be scary working dogs. Why are German Shepherds bites more vicious if they are so closely related to the Belgian Malinois and Dutch Shepherd? They are generally a little bit bigger than their cousins, for one thing, but there's also a chance that the data is inaccurate, so treat that information with caution. Number 11. American Bulldog. 305 PSI. Since size appears to be the primary factor influencing biting strength, American Bulldogs are essentially the larger cousins of Pit Bulls and English Bulldogs. However, American Bulldogs are typically friendly, lovely dogs like their smaller counterparts. However, how they are raised does matter. These puppies could be harmful if you don't socialize and teach them from a young age because they have a strong will. Take your dog's training very seriously because you do not want to be the owner of a stubborn, disobedient dog that can generate 305 PSI with each bite. Number 10. Rottweiler. 0.328 PSI. The Rottweiler can put the most force behind each bite of the three dog breeds, Pit Bulls, German Shepherds, and Rottweilers, that are most frequently thought to have the strongest bites in the canine world. But ultimately, they only just crack the top 10. Rotties are large, intimidating animals that, if improperly taught and socialized, can be harmful, particularly to strangers. But because they are extremely needy, having a rottie may be like having a 100-pound baby who sobs whenever you leave the room. Number 9. Leonberger. 0.399 PSI. Although they aren't the most well-known breed, these shaggy, goofy giants can pack a powerful bite given their size, 
they frequently weigh more than 150 pounds. However, unlike many of the other breeds on this list, Leonbergers are more commonly utilized for search and rescue operations than for security or law enforcement duties. They were probably originally developed to protect cattle, which would need them to defend it from wolves, bears, and other dangerous animals, hence their massive size. Today, though, they are frequently utilized as water rescue animals, and all that strength is useful when you need to save a person who is drowning in a lake. Number 8. Dogo Argentino 500 PSI This South American puppy is frequently mistaken for pit bulls or American bulldogs, but they truly don't resemble either breed all that much. The now extinct Cordoba fighting dog was first crossed with giant breeds including Great Danes, Dogs de Bordeaux, Irish Wolfhounds, and Pyrenean Mastiffs to make them. Antonio Nors Martinez, a doctor, developed the breed in 1928. Martinez desired a pet that would be a devoted, loving friend as well as able to help with large game hunting and provide protection for his home. The outcome was a breed that is currently frequently used as a therapy dog and is very social, although they also do police work on the side. Number 7. Prisa Canarillo 540 PSI For their intimidating size, the Prisa Canarillo, or Spanish Mastiff, has long been admired. Over the course of their lengthy history, these dogs, which frequently weigh more than 150 pounds, have served as fighting dogs, security dogs, and even war dogs. These dogs can be affectionate, docile, and lovely, but they require a lot of socialization and training to remain that way. Number 6. English Mastiff 552 PSI most kennel clubs simply refer to the English Mastiff as the Mastiff, hence they are frequently used as the standard for what a Mastiff-type dog should be. However, this is more likely a result of the fact that kennel clubs were founded in England than it is a result of the breed's historical claim to superiority. Although they are capable of inflicting pain on a person with their jaws, English Mastiffs are normally docile and even tempered canines. Because of this, you won't often see these dogs being deployed by the military or by law enforcement, even though their frightening size alone can make them excellent protection dogs. Number 5. Tosa Inu. 0.556 PSI. The Japanese Mastiff, or Tosa Inu, is just as big and commanding as any of its relatives. However, unlike many other Mastiff-type dogs, these canines are usually quiet and vigilant. Although Tosa Inus generally have even temperaments, they still need a lot of socialization and obedience training. You should pay close attention to how they interact with other dogs because they have a tendency to become aggressive and irritable when they perceive a threat to their families or property. Number 4. Dogue de Bordeaux. 556 PSI. The French Mastiff, or Dogue de Bordeaux, is an ancient breed that has been around since at least the 14th century. On farms, these enormous canines were used for a variety of tasks, including as pulling carts and watching after cattle. This is one of the oldest mastiff-like breeds on the world, and many people think they are direct descendants of the Greek Molossus, a large battle dog that is regarded to be the ancestor of all mastiff types today. Number 3. Cane Corso. 700 PSI. Italy and the Cane Corso, or Italian Mastiff, are the next stop on our tour of the Mastiff breed's geographic distribution. These dogs used to be extremely widespread throughout the nation, but now they are primarily restricted to the Puglia region in the south. Cane Corsos often weigh, only 110 pounds or thereabouts, making them slightly less huge than other Mastiff-type breeds. They are, however, often far more muscular than their cousins, which accounts for their ability to deliver such a powerful bite. 
Number 2. Band Dog. 730 PSI. This breed, also known as the Bandog Mastiff, is thought to have originated in England sometime in the 13th century and is a cross between the Pit Bull Terrier and the Neapolitan Mastiff. Bolenvisors is one among the most frequently mentioned options, although it's possible that there's other DNA mixed in there as well. This breed is uncommon, and kennel clubs and other regulating bodies don't typically recognize it. Number 1. Kangle. 743 PSI The only breed in the top 7 that isn't a mastiff of some description is the Kangal, or Kangal Shepherd. This Turkish dog is thought to have originated in Central Asia. It is not surprising that their jaws are lethal weapons given that they have been employed as herding dogs for a long time and have been expected to battle lions, wolves, bears, jackals, and other predators. Despite the fact that they can make terrific companions, these canines are unquestionably working dogs and are therefore never off-duty. They can be distant from strangers and possessive toward their family, but with the right socialization, they can develop into devoted, caring guardians.